Good morning, good afternoon, good night. This message is for the sign of Aries or Aries Cross Watcher. Thank you guys for being here with me today. Whatever time it is where you're at in the world, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, right before, like just a few seconds ago, before I started this video, I kept hearing the song My Wish by Rascal Flatts, which is, to sum it up, just a song that seems to be wanting good for another, wanting someone to have a good life, wishing another well. So this could be another person who's wishing you well during this time, you wishing another well. It's like, I don't really have a problem with you, you know? But I do get somewhat of a romance vibe from it. Not for all of you though. Some of you, it's, you could be like, not necessarily making up with someone during this time, but it's just kind of like burying the hatchet. Like, I ain't got a problem with you as long as you stay in your lane and you do you and I'll stay in mine and do me. That's a promise. That's a bet, you know? Like, we don't got to be enemies, but we don't got to be friends. I'm just going to let it go. You know, maybe you and another could be energetically just kind of letting it go. Maybe even getting along with someone. Why am I having a hard time seeing today? Like, I'm having a very difficult time. I think it's because I've been wearing my glasses more and it's messing with my eyes. It's making my eyes want to wear them all the time now. I'm going to close my eyes for a minute, guys. So, let's talk about romance uh, for a minute. Give my eyes a little bit of a rest because I feel like they're straining. I feel somebody wants to see you here because I don't want to sit here with my eyes closed. Sometimes I prefer to do a whole entire message with my eyes closed. Sometimes it's just one of those days, you know. But today is not one of those days. I wish that I could just have my eyes open and talk to you, see you. But I'm telling you right now, they feel strained. Like the light is killing my eyes. I have sensitivity to light right now. I feel like I need to go get my glasses, but they're in my car. It's just like, it's difficult. And that's part of the message today, Aries or Aries Crosswatcher. I'm going to say it's someone else, but this could be you. So feel free to reverse it. Um, somebody's... It's, it's been hard to see you or somebody's been wanting to see you but they've been kind of staying away I think they're going to make it happen though because I'm not about to sit here forever with my eyes closed eventually I'm gonna have to open them <laughs> you know it's like somebody knows that eventually they're gonna have to um, open up to you it's not that somebody hasn't wanted to open up to you it's just that maybe when a matter of when a matter of how I've been wanting to do this for a while now I just want to see you I, I'd rather do it in person it's something like that like somebody wants to speak to you in person so that you can see their eyes you can see they're being honest that they can see yours not just you see theirs I think they really want to see yours and see how you would respond to what they're gonna to say to you it's like somebody wants to do something in person here we go Woo. keep in mind though it's nothing you know I don't think it's anything negative because the first thing I picked up on was the song my wish by rascal flats it's like however this ends however this conversation ends i want you to know that i still whatever you decide i'm hearing maybe someone's going to give you a decision to make and it's like i respect it and i wish well for you i want good for you no matter what you decide but um someone could be planning for you and them to get together they're hoping that you will agree to this Agree to get together and meet up. Agree to get together and hang out, speak, talk, communicate. It could be anything over coffee, tea, drinks if you guys drink, food, lunch. No. I think it may be something different though. Like, 
however you first connected with this person or, or however you had in the past connected to them in whatever way it's this the way that you connect to them this time or the way that they more so connect to you I feel like they're gonna be making the move unless this is reversed is going to be a different or on a different tune on a different note than when you previously hung out with them or previously spoke met conversated talked had a meeting whatever you know, the vibe is going to be different. They're going to, their approach will be different. It is so hard for me to keep my eyes open during yours, and it's not a coincidence. I don't believe in that. Wow. It's like overwhelmingly. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that has something to do with your message unless some of you need to get your eyes checked it could be that simple like go get your eyes checked or maybe you're going to start getting some sort of headaches or migraines maybe they are could be ascension symptoms though somebody having an awakening here or actually someone needs to get contacts lasik new glasses <laughs> wear their glasses more some sort of sensitivity to light Maybe they also just have blue eyes, this person, or you do. Someone could have blue eyes here because blue eyes are very sensitive to light. And I can I can attest, although my eyes are more green, greenish blue, they change. Sometimes they're yellow. You guys ever seen that? <laughs> Sometimes they're green, blue, yellow. I think I actually have like hazel eyes, but they change. I don't know. You never know with science anymore, do you? I'm pretty sure they said that like hazel eyes are the ones that change, but of course, on my birth certificate and on my ID, they say that I have blue eyes, but they're not blue, not all the time. All right, I'm gonna go get my glasses real quick and I'll be back. I seriously am like really struggling. This is gonna give me a headache if nothing else because I'm just, I'm like stressing my forehead. I'm like stressing it. That has to do with your message, guys. Like I hate to continue to beat a dead horse, but it's like somebody here is like, I, I want to do this in person because, like, you know, it, it has to be done. I, I'm going to make the trip. I'm going to make the move. I'm going to make the uh, approach. I want to see you. I definitely want to see you right now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is much better. That's exactly what I needed. I just needed to put my glasses on so that I could better see. All right. Maybe somebody likes you better in glasses. Maybe this is reversed and you like someone else better. I don't know. But... Let's think of everything I just did. I paused the video. I went and got my glasses because what? I was having a hard time seeing. It was like killing me today, the light. It's still kind of bothering me a little, but not bad. I have like glare protection or whatever. So I went outside to get my glasses and now I can see better. Is this gonna be one of those situations where like you're gonna start to realize something? You know, I'm sitting here the whole time like why it just, Bear with me. I'm sitting here the whole time and I'm like, I'm struggling to get the message out. Although I'm not struggling today. I feel very clear, but whoever I'm picking up on coming through, they have not felt very clear. They've had a very hard time making their own decision, but yet they want, they want to see like, they, they like want to, I got this the other day for like a cancer message. I think like test the waters with you to see kind of how you're feeling, but yet they're not going to let you know how they're feeling. Not fully. So maybe you, get to a point where you put your glasses on and some about rose colored glasses or maybe you take those off and if you've had them on somebody here may ever maybe you've had a lot of just like you know you know sinners start to have like positive energy towards someone I could say hope and they start to prove to you that you just start to see the truth is this going to be one of those situations in the near future where you are starting to see the truth and it's like, if it's so hard for you, if it's, if this is going to be hard for you, this as in me, a connection with me, then you can keep it, keep whatever you, you working with over there, keep it. If it's going to be so hard for you to open up to me when clearly you want to, it's just a little bit here, it's just a little bit, you know what I mean? Or to say what you want to say to me, like, is this like a in and out and it you know what I mean it's like what is what is your point here like I think you 
Aries or Aries cross watcher, I think you are going to begin to see something about a person who has, it's like, for some reason, some sort of connection with you is just hard. And it's like, well, let me make it easy for you. It doesn't have to be hard at all. I can make it really easy for you. I think, are you going to get irritated with somebody here? Like, I hate that energy, you know? Why? Why? I don't know. It just feels a little bit annoying to me. Like, what do you want from me? Kind of, that's it. What do you want from me? I mean, you can tell this isn't someone who wants, like, they're trying to fuck with you. I don't think this is someone who's trying to fuck with you. And you, you would already know that. Because what's the first song that I said I got in my head before I started the video? My Wish by Rascal Flatts, which is a good song. It's positive towards another. You know someone doesn't mean you ill will, not like a lot of other people. But this particular person, you know, you don't even want to like have bad energy between the two of you, but they're getting on your nerves or they will. Someone's going to get on your nerves because it's like, <laughs> look. What do you want from me? Which is also a song, isn't it? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Let's read a little bit of the lyrics to get some of the context here. There might have been a time when I would give myself away. Oh, once upon a time, I didn't give a damn. But now, here we are, so what do you want from me? Just don't give up, I'm working it out. Please don't give in, I won't let you down. It messed me up, you need a second to breathe, just come around, what do you want from me? Guys, I'm not going to read this whole song, I can tell you right now what this is. I mean, we are several, several minutes into this video, you would have thought by now I would have got it, right? And that's part of the message. You would have thought by now somebody would have just made something a bit more clear. Glasses, that's it. For us, they would have made something more clear for us if they were serious, right? But you had patience because you're like, well, not everybody is on the same, like, you know, like I am. You know, not everybody has that personality. So you've just kind of given, you know, you've been, you've been um, understanding of someone, someone's time or, you know, you've been patient. But there comes a point in time when it's like, you know what? I don't. This is too uncertain for me. I've had enough of that in my life. Too much, in fact. I could overdose on uncertainty, all right? I've had enough wishy-washy. I've had enough in and out. Say what you wanna say. You wanna be friends? Let's be friends. You wanna be something more, but you can't right now? Say it. You don't wanna be anything ever? Say it. You admire me, but you're not about to make any moves my way or whatever, say it. You wanna know if I love you? Ask. You want to tell me you love me, but we're not about to go anywhere with it? That's fine, too. But say it. Do something. Say it. It's like spit it out. You know? It's it's a little annoying. We get annoyed by that shit. It's like fucking spit it out. The only reason that I could excuse something like this is if somebody had a particular position in their life where they couldn't. Okay? Where they have to be very careful with what they say. They don't just want to have, like, word vomit. And this is probably why somebody wants to do, what did I say in the beginning of the video? They want to say it in person. They don't really want it to be in writing. They want to meet up so they can say it to you face to face. But you just need to make sure, which I know you would, of course you would, you need to make sure you trust this person. Because if this is somebody that you don't really know well, you don't want to just be meeting up with somebody in private. And, you know what I mean? Like, what is the, why is this like top secret? We need to get to that. Why is it so, you can say it's because you want to look in my eyes and see, that I'm being this and that and I want to look in yours and yeah, but also why aren't you just giving me a little bit more to work with here? You afraid to message it? You afraid to put it in writing? You afraid to tell me how you feel if it's not in person? Are you hiding something? Is somebody living a double life here? Is somebody not quite sure of their moves they're going to make wherever they're at? And so they're like, you know, we need to know these things. So you're needing a bit more clarity. I feel like you may even agree to meet up with somebody or whatever they're wanting to do. If they haven't asked yet, it's coming. It's coming. Could be the ne out for the next several months. I know that's annoying, but it seems to go with the energy here. Just dragging. 
or it could be weeks, you know, it doesn't have to be that long. It could be like, hey, you know, you want to meet up when I'm in town or you want to meet up, you want to meet up for dinner, for lunch or something. And then you meet up with them or before you do, no, maybe not even before, you may not give them a fair warning. You may just meet up with them and then before they even have a chance to say what they were going to say, you may be like, is there a reason that you haven't like alluded to anything before you get started and what you want to say to me? I just want to know. Like you kind of turn it on them. That may be something you end up doing. Like, so why did you want to meet up with me today? <laughs> really, truly. What was it about me that made you want to meet up with me? Like, is there anything that you wanted to tell me before, but you'd, you're, you waited for this moment right now to say it to my face? Is there a reason? Did you not want it in writing? What you're about to tell me, is there a reason you haven't put some of this in writing or given me some sort of something to work with, you know? A hint. I mean, I think that's that's logical. That's fair, right? Usually people don't just, you know, even with people they've known for a long time, like, I mean, this may be someone you've known for a long time. I don't know, it could be someone new. But think about it, like if you're making a play date with someone, it's there's there's plans. There's some sort of, we have an idea of what we're gonna talk about or do what, when we meet up, or at least where we're gonna go, and that kind of gives the vibe or the sets the scene. You know, it's kind of like there's nothing to work with here. Somebody's giving you nothing or very little to work with here. And that's frustrating. Not only is it frustrating, it's like, I've got a, ain't nobody going to have my back like I am. So I want to make sure, like, what are your intentions here? What, truly? I didn't want to be the one to come out and just ask, you know, but I'm getting those vibes of like, what are your intentions? Because I'm about to ask. This is you. If this is not you, this is cross watcher, your Aries, you may be like, what are your intentions here? You know, somebody makes an effort and they reach out, you know, they're the ones making the move, but then it's like, you can tell there's more they want to say. You can tell there's more, you know, this isn't somebody who's pouring their heart out to you. No, they're very much holding back, but they're just giving you just a little bit of them. It's like, it's like whenever you use, um, I'm seeing a season bottle. You know when you put seasoning over a pot, but the pot is like really steamy? And so I think this is why it does it anyway. And so it makes the the herbs or whatever is in that seasoning, let's say it's, well I said cayenne pepper the other day, so let's say cayenne pepper. And it gets kind of hard inside of the bottle because of, I think, it's the moisture that gets into the holes when you're trying to put it over the pot. And so I'm sure there's a better way to do that. You probably aren't even supposed to do that, but that's what I do. And then I'm like, damn, why is my, I got to like hit it on the counter to loosen up the, <laughs> the herbs inside because I think the moisture got in there and then hardened everything, you know, that's kind of the vibe here. It's like, I need you to let it out. I want to see clearly what you're trying, like, what do you want from me? Start there and then go into everything else. You know what I mean? I wanna know what I'm gonna get out of this ultimately. Unless you wanna go in and play stupid, you know, cause sometimes we can do that too, but I don't, we usually don't like doing things like that cause it feels like playing games, especially when we're like adults. We don't like playing games. We do not like playing games, but we will. We will if, if hell, you wanna go there, we'll play games, but I don't see, I'm telling you again, Maybe you've been fucked with a lot or you've been manipulated a lot, messed with a lot, deceived a lot. Of course you have. So when you see someone acting like this, although in your heart of hearts, in your core, what is it, Rascal Flats? I wish. You know this is someone in your gut that you can just tell. All right, you feel it. They don't want to hurt you. They don't really have ill intent. They don't, they're not really coming from a place of malice. But it's still just, it's like a trigger for you. And maybe it's something we got to work on. I don't know. But it's still kind of like, you know, I feel like we can meet each other in the middle here a little bit. I'll work on my issues that, you know, from past experiences, people fucking me over. But also, I need you to give me a little more. Because right now, the way that you're kind of in and out and very confusing to me and just seem to be a little wishy-washy, I'm sensing that you're fucking with me. And I don't want to be fucked with. So you're, you may be getting a little defensive in the near future. This could be happening right now. Only inwardly, though, because it's like you may sense that, again, someone's fucking with you. But it could just be that they are a very different type person. They may not have any bad intentions for you whatsoever, Aries or Aries Crosswatcher. But it's translating as if something ain't right. You hear the dog? As soon as I stopped talking, the dog went, Row. Yeah. 
it's like a warning. You may feel like you're like red flags are being sent off in your mind over somebody because something just feels like it ain't quite right. Something's off. And and I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. I think something is off about this person, but not necessarily they themselves. Something going on in someone's life is off. And uh, it could be maybe they're in a relationship. I don't know. Or maybe it's their family dynamic or they're worried about their age or their health. I don't know. Something's going on with someone and this is why they'd rather speak in person because what they have to say, it just isn't going to be, there's no way they can get it out in a message or through the phone or something, right? It would, it, also, I think there's other reasons they're not putting it in writing, but they want to talk to you. Again, I reiterate, I, I don't feel that they're coming from a bad place, but I'd still keep your guard up a little. I definitely wouldn't let it all the way down. They certainly haven't. Unless they have and it just appears, like they got a fucking poker face, and it appears that they don't have their guard down with you, but it's because this is not something, it's really serious what they want to talk about. It's not negative, it's just serious. And they're very serious about what they're going to say to you. I think they're going to tell you they love you. Mm -hmm. it's gonna be diff it's gonna be deeper than that though I mean they may even like I, I get like some sort of poetry even or um, very heartfelt it's almost like poetry because it's extremely heartfelt and sensitive and genuine and you're gonna be able to tell and this is why it's important they maybe they're old school even I get that somebody's like more old school here or they could have like studied some sort of psychology even for some others or both Hell, I don't know. They study some sort of psychology, and so to them, it's like, I want to see you in person. And it's like, well, don't think too much about it, okay? You don't want me to think too much about it. Well, you don't need to think too much about it either. Fine. Have it your way. You know, maybe someone wants to read your body language. I don't know. But uh, maybe they read your body language already. But it's like, uh, I get somebody who could definitely be old school. Or they're, um, they don't like to talk on the phone. Or they don't like to text, really. I mean, they will if they have to, but they don't, they prefer to do it in person, but also they're going to read you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why I get, this is someone who's like, they may think too damn much, you know, which can really shorten your lifespan when you do nothing but sh like stress. Stress can kill you. It really, truly, genuinely can. Worrying, you know, I just literally talked to somebody about this yesterday. It's true though. Worrying can shorten your lifespan. You kind of just got to, as much as you can, even though sometimes it's like, how do you not stress, you know? But you almost have to just, like, force yourself not to. I think this is someone who, you know, they could even, like, use somebody like you. And I don't mean in the negative sense. I mean, they could use a person like you in their life. You know that I can use somebody, someone like you, which is Kings of Leon. And they're, I believe, from Tennessee. Don't hold me on that. Kings of Leon, you somebody. Like, you would be good in their life. But they'd probably be good in yours. But they think too damn much. It could be a little annoying to you eventually, you know? When you're just like, but maybe your energy of kind of just being like a go-getter and a leader. Like, we think. We're not airheads, you know? We think. But also, we know when to make a fucking decision. You know what I'm saying? We know when to strike and not take for damn ever. Because tomorrow's not promised. And this person may not have that. They may be a little too careful. But you're also a little too untrusting. And I feel like if there could be a nice balance met between the two of you, this could be something good, whatever it is. It could be a business opportunity coming up. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it feels like it is. Or it will be. It feels like it'll um, roll into that. Something also to do with Walmart. I don't know if you're going to meet up at Walmart. Like meet up and then follow them there. Or follow them somewhere. Or you know what I'm saying? Meet up at a common spot. That's not for everybody. Something to do with that. That's definitely confirmation for somebody. Right? This could have also already happened, and maybe somebody's wanting to re-meet up with you. Remy? There's a singer also called Remy, but... I don't want to go off too much on a tangent here, but that's what I'm getting for this message. Aries or Aries Crosswatcher, remember, you can reverse it. Um, I want to talk to you. And you may be like, okay, well, I'm going to need to clearly understand where you're coming from and what you're wanting from this because right now you know I'm getting a little I'm starting to get a little you know Aries will cut them or off like 
you know, other signs say they do it. And again, like I say, people can get all like personal about it and be like, ah, we're no fucking zodiac sign guys. And we're all at the same time. Like, you know, it's only the human body that experiences these identities. The soul doesn't have any of it. It doesn't. The soul and the existence of the soul is actually very simple. It's from the beginning of time and has no end. This existence coming through the human condition, we have a lot of different, we talk about this a lot, a lot of different nutrition facts, a lot of different labels they want to give us to make us understand ourselves better. But if you want to just simplify everything, we're none of it. But let's talk about this just for a second, you know. Aries will cut a motherfucker off. I'm talking. Like we, and you know, and they'll be like, where'd they go? I didn't mean anything by it. And it's like, well, I blocked your ass because you were acting sketch to me. You were acting sketch. Clearly you acted like sometimes you wanted to deal with me and sometimes you didn't. Well, I'm, I'm going to make it easy for you. If you don't want to talk to me or you don't want to just, then that's cool. I'll remove my damn self and you're going to wonder where I went to. And don't try to fuck with me later on, you know, because it's not like we get angry. We just get like, it's almost like if you have something for a long time, but it just doesn't fit your, your theme in your room anymore. Or you have something, but you don't ever use it. You're going to sell that bitch in a yard sale. Or you're going to get rid of it. You're going to go donate it to Goodwill. Or just toss it, depending on what it is. It's outdated. Like, something's outdated here. Maybe it's how somebody treats you. Even if it's not how they've been treating you. Maybe it's a new person, but it's like people in your life have treated you like this. And it's outdated. You're tired of it. So, like, let's hope you don't cut someone off. You could. You could have already done it. And then, like, you know, you're like, I mean, you're just... You're all but seconds away from slamming the door in someone's face. And it's not because it's personal or you're mad at them, but you're just tired of the type of energy that they're exuding because other people have done this to you. Or maybe it's the same person who's done it to you. And you're like, I'm not. Nope. Like you're just peeking through the door and you're like, I'm about to slam this fucking door and lock it. And I'm going to run so that even if they knock this bitch down, I ain't going to be there. Mm -mm. Like you've had just about enough of this type of energy, whatever it is. You're getting annoyed from it. You're ready to see big grand gestures or not shit at all. All right, guys. Love you so much. Thank you for being here and I'll talk to you later. Bye.